right, so here it is. This came today via big freight truck straight from the UK via Texas. A Allet lawnmower. It's the Kensington 20H, meaning it's 20 inches wide and it has the Honda motor and also the Scarifier cartridge that has is a lawn rake, so that'll clean up all of the debris and everything. This is a real mower, so I will be able to cut my lawn really short and even, and I'm looking for many months of uh, fun as I transform my lawn from bumpy and kind of shaggy and uh, kind of brown at the moment to something a little more appealing and fun. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up and let's see what's in the box. So now the first thing we should do is get this shrink wrap off here. Okay, this is the scarifier or yard rake. How am I supposed to get these staples off though? Holy cow. These staples. I'd rather just rip these. There we go. Just rip these staples. Okay. And there it is in all its glory. So we've got some plastic on it to start out with, but let's see if I can lift it out. It should be, I should be able to lift it, but it doesn't have the, the uh, grass box cradle on it, so I won't be able to lift it from that. So let's see. Okay, so inside the grass box is the package with some ins instructions and accessories that I'll go through. The cradle for the grass box and the grass box. Now, do I dare try to just lift this up and out without there we go that's not too bad all right well this is all pretty exciting now i did watch a video on how to set these up and they said the first thing you do is raise up the, um, the handlebars but there are three adjustments and i'm about six foot three so I'm going to go ahead and adjust this to the highest setting. So to do that, just need to unscrew this. There's a little cap nut down at the end here and a couple of washers. I'm gonna take those out and then pull this out. And then just raise it up to the highest setting. Get that back in there. There we go. Okay, now washer's back on. Get this cap nut back on here too. All right. And there are these little plastic caps that go on the ends of the upper handle here. And they keep falling off, but I think that once the handle is, is tightened, once this is tightened up, it's going to um, secure these into place so they won't be falling off anymore. So here we go. Let's turn that around. And there we go. So now that's easy to release that and fold this down for storage, which makes it really nice. Okay. Next step are some wire clips to secure these. So that's gonna be in the packaging. Let me go get those. Here are the clips. So I'm gonna put one on this bar to hold this 
cable in place. And this one on this bar to hold this cable in place. And then the, the pull cord comes up here and gets strung through this little loopy thing that's on all lawnmowers. That's pretty standard. So the spark plug is in and it's all plugged in. There's no oil or gas in this right now. So I'm gonna have to get gas and oil in it before I get started. Now, let's see, the grass box cradle goes on. There's a hole right here and a hole right here. So you put this on by just putting it in the one hole and then pulling, pulling this pin and sliding it down so that the pin engages with the other hole. Let me get that. There we go. So now the, the grass box cradle is on. This front roller has some plastic on it, but I'm not going to take that off just yet. And then the grass box sits on it just like that. So I thought I'd show you some of the other things that it comes with. Here's the manuals and the Honda manual and all the little warning stickers and everything. Little flyer for all of the, the different uh, cylinder uh, cartridges that they have that you can get for it. Um, the one that I got is the Scarifier, um, but it has these others that are, are available so that when you're getting this, you're not just getting the mower, you're getting a multi-purpose machine that can do a variety of things like aerate your lawn, dethatch your lawn, Scarify slash dethatch your lawn and verticut and just r uh, brushed, clean up the debris. So here's the quick start guide that I will make sure that I run through and make sure that I've done everything before I try to start it up. And it comes with these wheels and an Allen key or wrench and these other, these bolts. Now these are so that if your lawn is long and you don't want that front roller to be pushing down the grass, uh, to cut it, then you can put these rollers on, which will kind of sit outside of the area that the, that the blades cut so that it won't roll down the grass. Now this Allen wrench, um, to add to my many collection, my large collection of Allen wrenches that have come with very various pieces of furniture that I've gotten over the years, um, you use this to unscrew the, the cartridge so that you can uh, switch out the cartridge and to put the other one in. And here's a little multi-purpose uh, wrench that I'm not sure what is going to require this, but I'll hang on to it. And the Allet uh, Kensington cil Petrol Cylinder Lawnmower Original Instructions. So these are the beyond the quick start guide instructions for how to use it. So here we go. Here it is. I love that it has the the Union flag on it. That's on all of the Allet mowers. This is definitely a, a mower that is used a lot in England, a brand that is used there. And it's also used in the States on um, in uh, sports fields, football stadiums, uh, soccer stadiums and such. But of course, not this one they use. They have much bigger models. This one is more sized for residential use, which is convenient because that's what I am going to use it for. And it comes with the six blade uh, reel cartridge, which is used, is good for, I think, lengths down to one inch. And if you want to go lower than an inch, then you're going to need the 10 blade uh, cartridge, which I do not have right now. So anyways, that is the setup. Now I need to just get gas in it and try to get it running. Now, in order to get started with uh, real mowing my lawn, I need to get the height of cut down. Before I can get the height of cut down, I need to uh, clean out all of the debris and thatch that's in the yard. So to do that, I got this uh, turf rake cartridge that'll go in my mower. And you see it has these little wiry uh, spring uh, teeth fingers that'll t pull out all the debris and put it into the catcher for me. And um, so that will 
come in handy. And with it came a, this pack of instructions and another Allen wrench, which will be nice because I have a feeling that I may <coughs> lose some. So let's uh, work on switching this out and see how it goes. Okay, so the first thing that I need to do is take the grass catcher off and pull the handle off, which comes off fairly easily, but I need to figure out how to make it happen smoothly. And so then on this side, there are some screws, one right there and one right there, and it looks like there's four screws. So they're Allen screws, so I will just put the wrench in and let's do this top one first. And these are um, retaining screws, so they won't pop out. So you don't have to worry about losing them. Okay. Okay, there we go. Set that aside. Here's the drive system. And there's also, they're down here, lower. Are these captive screws? I don't think they are. So I think these screws will come out. Yeah, they do. So don't lose those because you'll use them to, I'll use them to secure the other cartridge. That is a sharp blade. All right, so there's those two screws. And now this just lifts out. And if I look like I know what I'm doing, just because I've watched a bajillion YouTube videos about this. And then this one just goes, this gear slides in the slot here. Down we go. And that looks like it seated just fine. So let me just get this. There we go. It wasn't quite close enough to catch on the threads, so I had to push it a little bit with my thumb. So let's see. This side. Okay, so that's in. So now I just have to put this back on. And that, I have to say, was, was pretty easy. Um, I just say, I don't know how long that took, but not very long. All right, so I got a phone call and that interrupted me putting the uh, cover back on the side, but it's pretty straightforward. I just put it back on to cover it up and, and there's there it is. Um, and I've actually taken it for a whirl. Uh, cleaning up some of the some of the debris out of the yard and this is what I've gotten out of it so far there was some stuff below it before I started but look at the rocks and the twigs and dirt and stuff like that so and I am on setting three so I need what I need to do is work down to a, a height of cut with my rotary mower that I can use to uh, then transition to the real mower. So I'll be doing quite a few passes with this uh, uh, scarifier to get the debris out of the yard and, and the thatch out of the lawn so that I can then move the height of cut down and then do back and forth until I'm sure that I've gotten all of the, the debris and thatch out. And then I will be applying that sand to the yard and uh, I'll be going from there. So that I'll show you a little bit about how to run it. So there's this lever right here that you push forward and then you pull up on this and that engages the, the cartridge, whatever's in the cartridge, whether it's the reel or the scarifier or whatever. And then this longer handle here rises up and it engages the drive so that it, it uh, propels itself. So you can engage the, the reel um, independently of the drive, which is nice. And here is the speed setting. 
you know, turtle, hare, you, you know the story. And uh, here are the cartridges. Looks like I'm getting some of the looks like I'm getting some of the thatch and debris in in the water there. So I will uh, start it up. And uh, first of all, you you turn it on with this on switch, and then you uh, I've already run it for a little bit. But when you initially run it, you turn the gas on. So when you when you're done with it, turn that off so that it'll shut off the fuel. And then you put the choke into the choke position. But then once it's running, you put it back into the into the on position. So, anyways, let's uh, start this puppy up and uh, take her for a whirl. And by the way, it purrs. It's a really nice sounding engine. Not nearly as loud as uh, my uh, rotary Craftsman engine. So, anyways, here we go.